Welcome to MCOM Solutions. Jake here. Today we're going to address some of the questions, comments, and concerns from our last video about the big updates to Mestastic's firmware and their application. So, and then we'll just kind of address the overall intent of that video and why I was really trying to push people to consider updating their firmware regularly. It's like this way on any device you own. It could be your phone, it could be a tablet, it could be a laptop, your computer, or your your smart TV, all devices now, there's you know software, firmware updates regularly. Sometimes those are just there to fix bugs, and then other times it's a combination of fixing bugs and the potential vulnerabilities on the security side. So keeping your stuff updated is sometimes really important, especially if you wanna maintain your privacy and not have to deal with, sorry, the deer flies are really bad this year and they are attacking the heck out of me. Um, but what, so when they updated to the 2.6.11, it was to address, which is the current stable beta that's available from Mestastic, is it was to address duplicate public keys. And they introduced the public keys uh, exchange part when they updated from 2. Point, or to 2.5 and above uh, to help improve privacy even on the long fast public channel, right? Um, now there was, I guess, a problem with some of the devices having duplicate keys, which could cause, you know, collisions and problems in sending your messages or not receiving messages or not being able to send messages. So the um, real issue there though is the additional one, if you have your devices set up for like an administrative key, there's a potential that there was a vulnerability there that someone could get access to your device through that. Um, so that was one of their big things that they were trying to address along with just the public key duplication problem. Now, one of the problems with the 2.6.11 was it would notify you that you have a duplicate public key. And I just experienced this when I was setting up a new device for a, a drone setup that I'll do a future video on once I have, oh dang, man, these the bugs are bad today. Um, but, and we're not talking about mistested bugs, uh, but the uh, issue there was that it would notify you and then not really any instructions on how to update your public key. And you could go into your channel and there's a spot in there for changing, uh, a key but then there's also where you really should be going at least best that i could find and i, I did re reach out to one of the discord communities on this to clarify this because i wanted to make sure i was putting out correct information is if you go in and generate a new private key and i'll show an image of that here in the video if you go into security under uh, radio configurations generating a new private key it should create a new public key now when i was updating this new rack device with the latest firmware, I went to point 11 first. Uh, it, I got the notification that I should update that. I tried to do update the private key and I still seem to be having issues. I wasn't able to send messages to other devices on the long fast default channel or my private channel, nor was I able to receive messages. So quick solution for me was just to update to 2.6.12 there and above they've set it to where it will basically when it detects that it will automatically generate you a new public key kind of removing that additional step that you have to take which is a nice so once i updated it to 2.6.12 no issues um, was able to communicate on my long fast and my private channel to my other devices no problem and send messages back and forth so that's really where we're talking is updating your stuff and if like i said at the beginning of the last video if you're using whatever firmware version you're using uh, and it's working for you you're communicating with who you want to communicate with um, then that's on you you know if you want to keep that that's fine i was just trying to give people that kind of public service announcement is like hey there is a potential uh, i do not have any devices set up with an admin key for additional access. A lot of people do that for um, like solar nodes, something that's put up on a tower, um, you know, that 
that way maybe if they're part of a group or whatever, other people can con uh, connect to that and update firmware or change settings or whatever in that device without being the original uh, owner, I guess, uh, of it. So that's kind of where we sit with Mestastic. It is that over almost three years now I've been using Mestastic, it has been kind of this constant state of, uh, you know, beta where things are changing all the time. That also makes it difficult when I, you make content about this is you give an instructional video about how to set something up. Firmware changes, that changes how you do that. Applications update, now it looks completely different from the video screen sharing videos that I've done in the past on how to set up certain things and how to set up your channel and how to change this or that. In general, a lot of it's still the same, but for new users, the non you know tech savvy, and I don't even really consider myself that tech savvy, but um, maybe more than some, but I definitely don't consider myself some sort of tech guru. I, I know I'm not, uh, but um, so that's basically the basic here. And then also, as I mentioned in previous videos, I am in a flux right now. I am back home in Washington state where, you know, my residency is where I live, where I have a home. Uh, but I am getting prepared to move out again to Europe, to a different country. I will do another update video on that in the future for those that are interested. Um, so my video production is not as what I used to like to have it at. And then also um, I'm kind of in a transient state. So just uh, bear with me because I'd like to produce at least one video a week. I like to spend a lot of time doing research and preparation for those videos. These are kind of a little more on the fly, a little less refined. Um, as I continue to try to improve that. I appreciate all your support. If you found what we do here useful and you're looking forward to this type of stuff, please subscribe to the channel. At least give me a thumbs up. Check out our website, other social media links. You can connect with us there. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.